tantrums. And that's right. Recently, a new Dennis Quaid video came out where he's apparently flipping out on set of something. Um, and there was a, you know, everybody knows the famous Christian Bale one. There's been ones over the years. There's also been moments that a lot of people aren't even aware of that you hear when you're working on set and the people who are, you know, you do makeup and, you know, and hair and those kind of things, they'll, they'll tell you that so-and-so was on set and, and they kind of had a flip out. Now, for the record, I've only had one, what would I think be considered an on-set tantrum. This was during the filming of Queer as Folk and I had a flight to catch and it was our last shot uh, of the night and like, it, it, I, I kicked a trash can. That was my thing. I ended up picking up after myself, but I was really mad because I was supposed to go home and now I was gonna have to stay there the, the whole weekend and I couldn't couldn't go to LA and back and, and take care of business and see you know my girlfriend at the time. And it was just like, I was wound up and we'd been working like 18 hour days and I kind of lost it a little bit, but I didn't scream or whatever. I just kicked a trash can. It was kind of a low level tantrum. You know, in future, I'll really save up for a big one. That's, that's my goal, is to get a big Christian bail. Oh, yeah, kind of going on. Um, just drag it out. But here's the thing. Most people come out, and their their first response is, A, how dare they, and these privileged divas, and what have you. And isn't it funny to watch them wigging out, and, and uh, you know, they, they should be grateful for the, the joy of doing this. And they shouldn't, you know, lash out this way. Okay. Now, I agree in generic terms, especially when it comes to live performances. Obviously, you can't flip out during a play or a live show, so you keep going. If something goes wrong and, and somebody, you know, you're literally in the scene and you're, you're, you're working on something and then somebody... Something odd happens, lights go out on stage, a, a person walks through that's not supposed to be here, somebody really messes up um, and is, is totally inconsiderate about the work that's being done, you kind of got to suck it up. You don't really have a choice. You know, this is just, quite frankly, it's your job and the play's going to be over in a couple hours and you can't stop it in the middle and ruin it for everybody who's there. You just got to kind of shoulder it, move on, hope it corrects itself and go. When it comes to shooting something that is... And that's true of, of multiple camera stuff, like a sitcom as well. Like a flip out in a sitcom environment is a little silly as well because you have to, you're in an ensemble most of the time, it's a much bigger scene thing, and oftentimes there's an audience present, and it will ruin future takes. If you wig out and storm off set, even if you come back, you're trying to make something funny and the audience is just gonna be shell-shocked and freaking out. That being said, when you're operating on a film set or in a one camera situation, it's really just you and your scene partner or whoever else is in the scene, the director and the crew that's involved in that particular scene. And if there's a recurring thing while you're trying to work um, that keeps getting screwed up, there's a couple of elements where you're excused from being, a, a, you're allowed to have a bit of a freak out. The first one being is, in that circumstance, you can't get sick or leave. As, a, as an actor in that situation, even one of the producers could go home sick and have someone cover for them, unless it's a real skeleton crew. The director is the only other person that's in a similar situation, and directors flip out all the time. And notice there's very little video of director flip outs, because it's almost excused, it's expected, you're allowed to some degree, because you are tied to this project, you can't go anywhere. When it comes to the lead actor in something as well, um, or you know, or someone who's you know pivotal to the storyline having a bit of a flip out. Um, you're in the same situation. If you get sick or leave set, everybody has to stop working. So if you're trying to hold it together, you, you know, if your if your inclination is to be at all nice and things aren't working, there's like in the case of I think the Christian Bale thing, it was the lighting director um, or the you know who who was walking through shot while he was trying to do the scene and that you know and paying no attention to what's going on and the fact that they may have been trying to get this scene for three days or they may have been trying to catch it before the sun went down there's pressure on to get it done and um, in those circumstances that person um, they, you know a certain level of mechanical respect for the entire environment has to be held because the, the actor flipping out ends up being the only person of power who can call out the person who's screwing up production for everyone. So the, the other grips and other people can't 
yell at the lighting guy because he's above them on the totem pole. Um, but the actor or director can flip out at that guy for screwing up the scene. The rest of them just kind of suck it up and go back to work. You know, they're like, oh, this guy we blew a take, now we gotta do it again. And if he keeps doing it, we gotta keep doing it again. He's not doing his job, the rest of us all have to sit. So the actor or the director can actually be the one, sort of as voice of the entire production, to, like, lose their shit and, and call that person out on it. Sometimes it's just a personal tantrum. I'm not saying that they're all like that. But in certain cases, that's clearly what's going on. You, you will often hear the, the word unprofessional thrown around when that happens. And, and in Dennis Quaid's defense, I think that was borderline what was happening there. Um, that you had, you know, there's all, from minor things like person in your eyeline distracting you um, to big things like someone walking through the scene while you're doing it, those are things that make the scene, what you're shooting, actually unusable. It's not going to ever make it to film. And there's no audience there that is being denied performance because you flipped out. This is not like being in a band and tearing your guitar off and walking off stage and not finishing and everybody has to go home when they paid a ticket for a whole show. It's a movie. It's a TV show. It will get cut together if you're allowed to do all your work. So, uh, first off, uh, it's art. You're allowed to wig out. Um, secondly, uh, the uh, off times, the the wig outs that don't get caught and the ones that actually deserve to be kind of called out are interactor contests that drag the rest of the crew with them, where somebody won't come out of the trailer until the other person comes out of the trailer. That kind of petty stuff. But that never reaches the level of video. You never see somebody doing, you know, oh, I caught them on camera doing that. It's not that kind of thing, and it's the most insidious, crappy part of it. The 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 real the, the, you know, that's that's the damaging, annoying, bad for the crew, wasting everybody's time stuff. If you look at Christian Bale's flip out, and if you look at Dennis Quaid's, mo the, the one they just posted about him, there's similar situations. The person is trying to work and get it done. The pressure is on them because they've got to deliver. Their name is more than likely, the entire project is hanging on their name, or at least, you know, largely on their name. And so it's there's pressure involved there. They can't leave or get sick or the production shuts down. So even if you're f not feeling it that day, you can't call in sick for that kind of a job. You're just there. And so when you're, you've got all the normal stacking of life and then you've got to do the job and then somebody is, you know, you're doing a scene about, you know, your, your dead father or something and there's a guy trying to solve the Rubik's Cube right, you know, across from you which would never happen in real life, and you're having, you know, and he keeps doing it, and you can hear the click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, clack. Or, or a guy walks through the background, and they have to cut right in the middle of you. What you had worked up to was a great take that was useful. Um, I think you have the right to, to piss and moan a little bit about it. Because uh, you're already operating on a deficit anyways, because nobody thinks you're working. Everybody thinks acting, for the most part, is, is like, like you won a contest and it's not a real job um, and that's a video for another time but here's here's where I might go further down the road about this in defensive actor tantrums it's more it, I find it more okay the worse the movie is or the more ridiculous the concept a, a diva freak out on on Golden Pond or Steel Magnolias or the notebook or something like that is a little less uh, uh, sympathetic because the environment that you're acting in is sympathetic. Everybody there knows you're making art. So they should be prepared to give you the space to make art. And if Meryl Streep's on set and somebody else flips out about something, it's a little dumb uh, because in the, in the world of acting in a project, this is the most perfect storm of good circumstance for you to act. However, if you're wearing a rubber suit dressed as a, a superhero that, and the suit is so weird you can't even turn your neck or you're playing in a, you know, in, in a movie where you've got psychic powers or you, you know, your character can levitate and so later the cup that you're floating will be put in but you're, three of the scenes you've got, you're just doing this in, on a coffee table. And you're just really, from an imagination standpoint, pulling it out of your ass. 
You actually need more space as an actor to creatively do that. You need more support to be in a rubber suit or on a green screen than you do in a perfectly constructed cabin with nine other actors where you're basically doing a play. It's just harder work. I don't care what anybody says, it's harder to do the Avengers than it is to do, um, you know, uh, as good as it gets. It just is. And so, it, oftentimes you'll find that those are the movies, sci-fi thrillers and, and action movies and stuff, where you see the, the freak out coming. Or really peculiar ones like, you know, I Heart Huckabees. Lily Tomlin's tape on that, you know, and bless her heart. That's a weird movie, and explaining what you're doing scene to scene is way harder to do. You don't know if you're gonna look like crap in the end product because it's so peculiar. And so trying to infuse it with actually any real emotion is a tougher job than if you're just doing basically a play someone is putting on film that with the right music and editing will make everyone cry. So to my fellow actors, don't abuse the privilege. But sometimes when you need to throw a tantrum on set, and I won't do it because I have, I have other ways of getting what I want. But if you've got to, you know, if you need to throw a tantrum so that everybody can get on with making the work, work, good on you. There you go. That's right. In defense of actor tantrums. You can tell me if you uh, think that's right or wrong. You can give me your opinion about it. Um, and uh, leave it in the comments below. I'm curious to hear what you think about that angle. I don't know that anybody has ever actually spoken about it in those terms. But uh, I would love to hear from you. Um, subscribe to the channel, of course. It's a button somewhere up here or whatever. We even have a donate thing so we can get uh, you know, better cameras and sets and all that kind of stuff and actually blow out the kind of productions we can do on the channel. And uh, I appreciate you and uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, hopefully this first YouTube capture while driving didn't go too not really driving. I'm in LA. I'm just sitting basically still this entire time. Anyways, be well.